Welcome back. I'm here with uh, Kayla and Claire, and you guys are here to talk about Diverse City or Diversity Day happening on Saturday at the Missouri Art Museum from 6 to 8 p.m. That's basically uh, it in a nutshell. But what can people? What are what are people? Sh what should people know about Diversity Day? Yeah. So this year, Diversity Day um, is going to be a little bit different. We are in the Missoula Arts Museum, and we're super excited about that. We're going to be having our main event going on in their main gallery. It's going to be really uh, um, just a really fun setting, and it's going to be a little bit shorter this year, which um, we're going to pack in some really great material. We're going to have our young people from our epic after school clubs sharing their spring projects and then we are also going to have a reading um, from different adults in the community and they are going to be sharing um, either things that they had written when they were younger journal entries poetry etc and kind of reflecting on it or just sharing about um, what they think um, their youth self would think of the world today. What's the importance of Diversity Day to you? Well, I think there's a lot of different importance, right? So Diversity Day was started because um, Empower Montana and our after school clubs, EPIC, were really instrumental in helping pass the non-discrimination ordinance, which means that if you um, identify as lesbian, gay, um, trans, gender, queer, bisexual, um, or any of that kind of um, LGBTQ soup that you can't be fired or you can't be refused housing um, for your um, sexual or gender identity. So I think celebrating that is huge, but also celebrating the rest of our diversity in our city um, is also really important. And it's important for our young kids and our young people to get excited about this and know what's happening. So how long has this event been going on? This will be our ninth wow. year. Yep, mm -hmm. not quite our 10th anniversary. Because you guys were at the Senior Center for mm -hmm. a couple of years, quite a, a bit of time. I remember you guys did one at the Roxy. I don't know if it was Diversity Day, but you did an event yeah. celebrating the passing of the ordinance. Yep, we did, and the very first year, actually, of Diversity Day, we had a huge rally at Karis Park. Um, we had a diff bunch of different speakers. Mayor Engen spoke and read the proclamation, which um, stated that Diversity Day would be an annual celebration. So, yeah. Yep, you do it every, uh, I think it's like second or third Saturday in April, mm -hmm. um, and basically try to bring a lot of people together. You have a lot of guest speakers. I remember mm -hmm. I've filmed a couple of the Diversity Day things. Uh, definitely one of my favorite ones was uh, when you brought um, uh, a Native American uh, guy, rapper. Superman? Superman. God. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I didn't even remember that name because it's such a very, it, he was amazing. He did a really good job. He cracked jokes. It was just an overall positive experience. So, and of course, uh, one other year you had another person who was uh, wheelchair bound, who basically never let that stop him from living his life. And I think that was a really good positive message. So what kind of positive messages do you guys hope to convey in this diversity day this Saturday? Yeah, so this year is really about connecting with the youth experience. Um, I think oftentimes, we shut down young people's um, just hardships and just kind of chalk it up to hormones and oh, just wait till you learn an adult, it's even harder then. That's really invalidating and so we really want to remind our adults um, what it's like to be a young person and also really empower our young people today to feel supported yeah. and um, excited about making change in Missoula. Yep, and it's even more important now, even now, more days especially. So is there anything else you guys want to say? Anything else you want to add, Kayla? Um, you know, I think Claire beautifully covered it. All right, cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks oh, for Oh, and oh. these are super cool t-shirts that will be on sale at the event. Cool. So yeah. we're excited. So uh, if you want to learn more information, I'll just pop up their website real quick. Um, EmpowerMontana.org for more information. Right here. You can go here, find more information, more upcoming events, how you can volunteer, how you can donate to Empower Montana. 
all sorts of wonderful things on this wonderful website. And just once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I want to tell everyone out there that the event is happening this Saturday, April 14th, from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Missoula Art Museum. Yep. yep. Great.